Hello, Vintage Outboard Motor fans. This is T Mike here in South Louisiana making another video today. Today's video is going to be how to repair a stripped spark plug hole. All right, so this is going to be a three part video. All right, first part, I'm going to tell you uh, the tool that you need to get to be able to repair that, uh, that stripped spark plug hole right second part of the video is gonna be how to actually use the tool and repair the spark plug hole and the third part of the video is going to be how to apply the Healy coil to put in there to make it work all right so if everybody's ready here we go okay so the first part of the video we're going to talk about the tool to get and i found this online this is a saver thread all right, it is part number 5334-14. And I found it on eBay for $45. So we've got the actual tool with the bits on it. To do the stripping, it's got an extensor and then it's got three different helicoils inside here. And I'm gonna show you how to use that in part two. So if everybody's ready, here we go. Okay, so here we go. What we have here, is uh, restore number 18. This is a 1967 three horsepower Evan Rood, model number 3706C. And this restore is for BART. So BART, you got a stripped spark plug. The lower spark plug is stripped. You can see I can just push the spark plug in and out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair that spark plug hole with the saver thread. All right, part number 534414. All right, so take it apart now and look at the pieces. This is an expander tool. Don't think we're gonna need that. And then here is the actual tap, the actual tap that we're gonna use. Now you see the way this tap is made, and it's got the original threads right here. Then it's got a section in it right here this section right here is for cutting and opening up the hole and it's got the newer threads that's going to re-thread with this. So we're going to take it, put it in here and turn it clockwise to re-thread it. All right. And I've got a Crescent tool I'm going to use to put on it. Now the first thing we got to make sure is that the piston inside of here is not at top dead center. Otherwise, when we get to threading it we're going to hit that piston so I'm going to show you how to do that I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to go inside and touch that piston head and then I'm going to rotate clockwise the flywheel until it's at its lowest position see it's coming back up towards me the screwdriver is moving this way as I turn it clockwise now it, that's top dead center as I go this way the screwdriver sinks in and reach his bottom right there. Right there is bottom. I got this much clearance inside the hole and I'm only gonna tap it down right to that mark. Okay, so the, the tap is way inside the depth of the piston head. We got a lot of clearance, so we're good to go there. Okay, the next step is gonna take take some grease, any kind of standard grease, and I'm gonna fill in the gaps right here because we don't want the particles to fall inside the, the chamber, the cylinder. So by putting this on it, it gathers up all the, all the shavings into here. So I'm gonna grease that puppy up real good. Okay, once I got it all greased up, we're ready for re-threading. So I'm gonna get her started on the threads. There's still some threads left on it, so it is, it is lining up perfectly. 
All right, now I'm all the way down to the part where it cuts it. So I'm gonna take my crescent wrench and I'm gonna go down all the way through to the new threads. Okay, so I've gotten to the point where the, the tap spins pretty easily by hand, so it's, that means it's threaded all the way through. I'm just going to back it up. You can see all the shavings that the grease has pulled out of there. All right, so there's all the shavings that came out with it. Now I'm gonna take a light and inspect the inside. Okay, so I saw a few specks of uh, shavings that fell in there. So I took a, took a screwdriver and I took my magnetizer here, run it through the magnetizer side of it and got down in there and I'm picking up some specks. So I'm gonna work that magnet screwdriver in there. All right, got it all cleaned out. I looked at it with the light, ran my screwdriver around there, and I picked out all the specs. Now, the next part three of it is how to put the helicoil on. So the pack comes with three helicoils in it, and they're different lengths. I'm going to take them out and check them out one at a time. Well, this helicoil is obviously too long. This helicoil... Looks like it's just a little too long. But this helicoil looks to be just the right size. So you slip it over. There's spark plug. And you see how it fits flush. And then you have, have tapped that hole that size. And the plug just goes right in like nobody's business. Voila, that is how you repair a stripped spark plug hole. Hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did. See you all next video. I hope you all enjoyed the video here at T Mike's Vintage Outboards. We're doing it one motor at a time. Please click on subscribe. I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Au revoir mes amis and laissez les bons temps rouler.